Hello guys, welcome back to Kasai Farm. It's a brand new day today. Um, today we are in the place where we incubate the eggs. Uh, that's where the incubator is. So we place some few eggs, uh, at about 19 eggs. That's some eggs are poultry and some are local. So the poultry ones, there are nine of them, and there's eleven. Uh, there's twelve. Uh, there's ten local um, eggs inside. And the poultry eggs are now um, that's 13 days old, and the local chicks are now seven days old because um, I did it a week before putting the um, local poultry uh, local eggs into the incubator. So I will show you um, how many eggs are there, and after here we'll go to uh, our plantation where we propagated some sweet potato vines. Uh, sorry for that for not making a video on how to make the best of the potatoes and how to um, propagate potatoes But I'll do that in another future video. So stay with me and let's go to the farm But first of all, let's check um, on the incubator and how the eggs are doing. So stay with me and we'll go Okay, so we had uh, I'm gonna show you the incubator with the eggs. Yeah, this is the small incubator but we are making a big incubator, uh, a serious incubator. So yeah, this is it, and these are the eggs. So these are the poultry eggs from a Plymouth Rock breed, and these are local chicks. You can see the difference in size. You can see that they are very. These are very huge than this. These are very small, small. So that that's the difference in size. And I've changed my humidity level. I just placed this um, flat container um, top, and I placed the cushion. And fill it with water so it's also good for the humidity so we should proceed and then go to the garden so that I will show you how the potatoes are doing yeah welcome and now we are on the um, potato farms uh, as you can see behind me is the garden over here and we've, broke up, uh, we've planted some pepper with uh, some tomatoes in the garden I also go there and show it to you so this is how we did the potato so this is the bed of the potatoes. They are uh, seven point four meters long. I just did four beds. This is one bed. This is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. So you can see that it's been this. This is uh, the six days, and you can see the potatoes sprouting new leaves. So right now, these leaves are going to develop and um, cover all here. So the distance between this and this are just up to like 30 centimeters. So this one, and this another one, and this another one. So uh, potato also don't take long to grow. They just take up to three months. That that's 90 days or 110 days to develop. So this is my first time doing this potatoes. This is my first time, and I want to make another bed to add over here. Yes. So this is my first time doing it and I'm going to do it as an experiment to see what will happen after 90 days. After 90 days, we'll come back on the farm, I'll show you how to harvest and whether did we get a good yield or not and whether the method we use in propagating was good or not. And by the way, the method we used was the vine cutting. We cut the vine from its stems here. Yeah. We cut a vine from its stem. So the roots, uh, the, the new leaves to start, this is one, to start um, sprouting and develop into flowers for the synthesis and everything will happen in it. They will not yield. So let's go to the garden and also show you the pepper. Yeah, now we are in the garden and come show you the pepper. We made our bed to be sunken bed because the pepper can from, we are in the rainy season and we are now in July. So the pepper can mature to get to around, um, I guess, then to start producing fruit. That's when to mature. And can be there up to the next rainy season. That's the next year's July, 2023 July. It will still be there. And you'll still be harvesting pepper. These are the local pepper and they don't take too much time to grow. So they are in their nursing stage right now. This is one of the pepper. We just we brought them when they were little. This is two. We brought them when they were little like this. So the normal rains make them grow because we don't even do irrigation. You can see this is like a sunken bed. 
but it's not almost like a sunken. It just it's just like a sunken bear. Yeah. So this is pepper. This is also pepper. So this is a bed of pepper. Another bed of pepper. Another bed of pepper. And here is tomatoes. Yeah. We are going to so we also planted tomatoes for uh, consumption. So that's it. So over here is the ridges. This place, this is where you can walk. Maybe if you are watching, we call it ridges. This is where you walk. So here's pepper. And here is eggplant. That's the garden eggs. The eggplant. We also tried a garden eggs in the north here to see how it will do. So I will be uploading future video upon that when they start to yield and when they are growing. So this is it on Casayo Farms. Um,